quarter, Allie LaForce. Well, the last thing they want to do right now is go out on the road. It hasn't been kind to them. But every team has to do it, and the better teams find a way to get it done. And stolen by Holmgren. He goes up. And the big finish by Holmgren. <laughs> and a stunning play by Holmgren, using his long stride to bound up the floor on a one-man fast break. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, oh, BA. Yeah. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. How about that shot? Not exactly something drawn up by the coaching staff. Screen by Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, God. Five to shoot. Takes it inside. Brown with some nice D. Pass to White. Here's Walsh. Oh. Off target with the three. <laughs> Here's Dort. Good nice D from Tatum. Dort. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Pass. And Brown with the stuff. A solid and unique big man in today's game. Horford's passing skills and ability to find the open teammate is very special. Now here's Dort giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Count the basket. Impressive make by SGA, not phased by that defender. Oh, to the wing. The kick to Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. The BA. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the mismatch of game. It's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, uh, Last game with 30. Gilgis. Not a good idea to take a nap on Jay Kilgis Alexander in that athleticism. So much power. Way to get up. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander really something to see. An incredible Shot. instinctual score. And just a knack for making things happen offensively. Whether that means him scoring or setting up others. This guy is an elite offensive player. And the big finish by Holmgren. Yeah, the defense making it way too easy for Holmgren. Got to push him farther out than this. Come on. Here's Brown. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Brown's got his second basket on the night. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, uh, and it's already paying off. Go, Rook. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. It's White with the drive. Fires the three. Oh. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the it's rebound. Off of my shot, huh? Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Screen by Holmgren. From downtown, Shit. buries it from three. Holmgren's got seven points. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? A nice shot by Tatum. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Timeout called, the Thunder. The Thunder making a switch here. And Williams has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Trailing by two. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And their body language was unimpressive. They looked defeated much of the night. And because of it, they took the hell. Yeah, and they didn't get, like, blown out in that game, but it felt deflating, and it felt like they got crushed. They could not get anything going, no matter who they had out on the court. Porzingis with it. Now carded by Holmgren. Pass to Walsh. 
Here's Ben. Picked his pocket. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Oh. Oh, Austin yeah. with the ball. Here's Porzingis. And he parries his first look. Check AP. That is a spectacular move over seven feet tall. Porzingis handling things like a guard out there. Now Holmgren. Steal. With two seconds left. That shot is off. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. It's the Celtics. Up two, and we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man. Just great selfless basketball. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are going off. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Pass it. Outside, Brown. Inside, they kick it out to Porzingis. Ah, the fuck, no man. good with the triple. <coughs> right, my Oklahoma shots is off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on. In a sec. When talking about the Celtics, up. you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, BA. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Ali, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Screen by Holmgren. Pass to Giddy. And here's Holmgren. Seven points in the game. Six to shoot. Knocks down the step back J. Holmgren's got nine points. And I just love how active Holmgren is on offense. Looking to score whenever he can. Poor thing is punishing inside. He just mm -hmm. takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. And it's Holmgren missing. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Brown. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Brown's got his third basket on the night right there. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. Got it. Mid-range, plenty of room for that release. He's going to take those all day long. Here's Brown. Outside Holiday. From outside the arc. The Thunder with the rebound. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by Walsh. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why, B.A., he's got this low center of gravity. He gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending. And Dort has a nose for the bucket. On the wing, Holiday. Over to the left wing. Here's Porzingis. On the take, Porzingis. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City.
And it's Dort with the ball for the Thunder. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Williams with the screen. Pass to Holmgren. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Hauser can't get it to go. Gilgis Alexander looking it over. And here's Holmgren for three. Offensive rebound. Out to the right wing. Second chance effort. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Gets another look. And down it goes. Two points. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, there's really no defense for that one. Turnaround jumper on time, on target. Takes a step back. Has to bend. And a miss there on the triple. Two for one opportunity if they can time it right. Great way to end the quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Taking it inside. SGA. He's got the ability to do damage inside and out. SGA's not going to miss that. Pass to Tatum. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Thunder with a lead. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Again, Oklahoma City. And we're all too familiar with these kind of outbursts from SGA. To the right side. The kick to Tatum. And that's not going to go. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Thunder. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. On offense, here are the Thunder. They lead by four. Following this one, they hit the road to challenge the Kings at Golden One Center in Sacramento. It's the second game of three on the road. It's good. Gilgis Alexander's got 14. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Well, Brent, since you retired in 09, the game has really changed. What's your favorite part of how basketball is played now? Yeah, B.A., I think it's just the amount of skill and freedom that really coaches have allowed guys to play with. There's so much skill on the floor at every position, and it's a read-and-react offense. So the smarter you are, the more that you can process, and the quicker that you can do that, you can get advantage every time. And you start to see those teams flow, starts to become something really special. It's always been about shooting. Maybe the league forgot about for a couple years. Gilgis Alexander. And that one's long. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And the foul goes against Oklahoma City. And that one falls for Tatum. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 14. Pass to Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Tries it from 16. The rebound, Celtics. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. For the tie. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Williams. To the inside. And Williams punches it home. Well, a solid facilitator. It helps that the defense thinks that Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. Now here's Brown. He has six. And finished off by Tatum. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. 
Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And there's another one for the Thunder. Slithering around the floor, Gilgis Alexander gets to his spot. Porzingis for three. Only their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. Williams with the screen. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Guarded now by Holiday. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Outside Porzingis. Kick out to Brown. Outside Tatum. Outside Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Porzingis has got five points now this quarter. That's a confident shot from Porzingis. And when he's pulling that quick, you know he's feeling it. Pass to Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Williams with it. Five on the clock. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Drew Holiday. First one falls for him. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Now here's Brown. He has six. Here's Porzingis. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. Porzingis showing a little strength down low that time. You can't get upset at the D for being physical with him on that play. And he sinks the second. Well, Brent Kristaps Porzingis, he's a big man who can do a whole lot. Yeah, knocks down the three ball, can defend inside, and causes some problems with his length. Makes smart passes because he knows the league and he knows the tendencies. This guy is very skilled and is getting better. Now here's Porzingis. He's got 12. And the coaching staff better alert their defense to Porzingis and how comfortable he is right now on offense. One oh two left in the third. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 16 from deep Giddy. Horford pulls it in. And here's Horford. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a one-point game. They now take the lead. Brown's got eight points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Gilgis Alexander's shot is good. Picking his spots, SGA doesn't take a ton of threes, but he does shoot it well from back there. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's Walsh. Yet to see a basket. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And there's the call. Oklahoma City with the foul. And he drops the first. And I still think even after a few seasons that Porzingis has a focus to continue to get stronger physically. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. To the left wing. Here's Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. The assist. Uh, Holmgren, that's pretty easy for a guy that long to get up and throw it down. Here's Horford. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Thunder out in front. They lead by two. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you. As quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Now a 
timeout call by Oklahoma City. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. He was very passionately telling his team, don't give them an inch when they have the ball. This game is going to come down to defense. I need you guys to work hard and close this one out. Guys? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Tatum drills the three. You know, this team relies on Tatum hitting those shots, and that's why he's such a high-volume three-point shooter. Pass to Jang. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. Outside Tatum. To the wing on the left. The three. And again, Boston with the triple. With his feet set, Tatum's going to make you pay. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. And that one's good. Holmgren. Holmgren. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. The Celtics with the lead. Right side White. Outside Holiday. Now White. Pass to Horford. Outside Tatum. Corner shot. Again, the Celtics good for two more. It's not surprising to see Tatum taking over offensively. I mean, he's capable of doing this on a nightly basis. Outside Holiday. Now here's Tatum. Puts up a three. And the Celtics another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Jang. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. Hey guys, shut your dumb ass up. Fuck are you even talking about? Nigga? This is how you want to play the game. What are you talking about, nigga? You fucking spamming pigs, nigga. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I cannot hear you. I just hear your bitch on the background. I still can't hear you. Stop spamming picks, nigga. Guard up. Play man-to-man -man defense. Guard up. That's what you gotta do, nigga. Fuck so you talking about? Well and I'm gonna keep giving the ball to Tatum. Take shit off him. Why you got a big man guarding Tatum? You gotta have more IQ than that. Oklahoma City hey, look at this nigga. Ain't no way this nigga spamming picks and talking about why the fuck is losing. Outside Giddy. Get shit off of Tatum, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna give Tatum the ball the whole fucking fourth quarter. It's up to you. 70% contest and actually give you a call. That's crazy. Nigga, clearly don't know how to use this team. Nigga, you can try the whole game. Nigga on Gatorade. Nigga still on the floor. And he better stay on the floor too. Don't take him out. I'm gonna tell you right now. Do not take that out of the fucking game. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna dunk the ball, by the way. I'm not shooting, I promise you. I'm gonna dunk the fucking ball like I told you, nigga. Fuck you put your mic on for. You just gonna make me play better. I don't know why niggas do that. Niggas put on their mic just so I can play better. That makes no sense. Uh-oh, that's a three. So far. Step back. Holiday. Easy drive. Easy drive. KP. I'm not shooting that, but I'm gonna do a Euro step. Bump fake. This way. Tatum. Corner. Hold that. Bitch. Fuck out of here. Shut your dumb ass up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Maybe trying to find a little bit Give me that. Not on holiday, bro. You know that. That's going to Tatum. I'm shooting that. Ooh. 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 Go rebound. Go fucking rebound, holiday. I'm away. One more. Mm, he's lucky my shot is off today. 
Yeah, instead of losing by 10, you'll be losing by 30. That's the only difference, but you're still going to be losing regardless, so it don't matter. Anyways, let me do a Euro step. And one, by the way. You so lucky they didn't call that. Nigga, that clampies. Nigga, it's on Gatorade. Give me that shit, nigga. And I'm going to pull up on this three ball for you. Step back. Oh my god, so fucking lucky. Yeah, quit the game. Yeah.